What's going on everyone? Today, let's go over what you need to know about the Better End Minecraft mod. The end is part of every player's game eventually, and if you've ever found it dull, then the Better End mod is about to change that. This mob is going to give you tons of new biomes, mobs, and more when you make it there. With no more empty lands or lack of action, let's go over how to install it first, and then we'll get into more of what it offers. First, head to Better End on CurseForge and press Files near the top to view all of the available downloads, and then you can scroll down and find the version that you want to play on. After you do that, press the download button to the right hand side, and then save this file somewhere easy to get to in just a minute. After that, you're also going to want to do the same thing for the matching versions of Fabric API and BCLib. Once you have all three of those downloaded, you can start the server install, which you can do by heading to your Apex server panel, stopping the server, and checking the server version to make sure it's Fabric and that it matches the version of the mod that you downloaded. After that, head to FTP file access in the left hand menu and then find or create the mods folder and enter it. And then press upload in the top left and drag and drop all three of the mod files into upload. Once they're 100% done, use your server name at the top of the page to return to the main panel and then you can restart the server. Finally, to install it on your client, you have to first make sure you have Fabric downloaded on your system. After that, open your Minecraft launcher and enter the installations tab, and then hover over your fabric profile and press the open folder icon. In the new window, create or find the mods folder, enter it, and then paste better end and the two dependency files here. After that, just return to the Minecraft launcher and press play to start the mod. To get started, you are of course going to need to reach the end as usual. Just find your portal and then jump through to challenge the Ender Dragon. Immediately, you're going to notice some differences, such as the obsidian pillars now having much more detail. But before you can take a look at the new dimension, take out the crystals and slay the Ender Dragon to unlock the end gateway. As soon as you're through that end gateway, then you should start to see the differences in the new structures and the biomes around you, and there's even more to be discovered with new mobs, tools, armor, and more. As for some of the biomes that you might come across, you have Blossoming Spires, Crystal Mountains, Foggy Mushroom Land, Shadow Forest, and the Dragon Graveyards. In addition to the new biomes, you're also going to get new mobs in each of them, like Dragonflies, Endfish, and Slime, Shadow Walkers, and Silk Moths. Now, before we get into common issues, don't forget to like, Subscribe and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. If the game keeps crashing when you're trying to start it, it might be due to a missing dependency or a mismatched version. First, make sure you have Fabric API and BCLib installed with Better End in the mods folder. And if you do, make sure they're all using the exact same version of Fabric. If you get an error when joining the server, it could mean that the mod is running on the server, but not on your own game. Make sure all of the mod files have been installed into your local mods folder in the Minecraft launcher, and that you're launching the game through your Fabric profile. Other than that, that is a quick look into the many new additions with this mod. While it doesn't change any of the gameplay to actually get to the end, once you're there, it gives you more to explore before finishing the game completely. So be sure to look around, have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.